Hi, my name is Chris McDonough, and I'm running to be on the school board in the Mount Vernon City School District. This is a short video about me uh, and some of the skills, knowledge I might be able to bring uh, to the board uh, to help. So I'm going to share my screen. Personally, I was born and raised on Long Island. I'm married. I have one child, a son. His name is Jack. He is grown and lives in Seattle. I've lived in Westchester County for about 30 years and in Mount Vernon for 12 years. My education uh, consists of high school diploma. I went to public schools, North Shore Public Schools on Long Island, a bachelor's degree in philosophy and religion from Boston University, a master's degree in special education with a focus on behavior disorders from Columbia University Teachers College, and then a master of philosophy and PhD in behavior analysis from Columbia's Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. I'm a permanently certified special education teacher, school administrator supervisor, uh, which is kind of like a principal and a school district administrator. I'm also a New York State licensed behavior analyst and nationally certified behavior analyst at the doctoral level. I own my own small business here in Westchester County, Behavior Analyst of New York. This is a New York State Education Department approved preschool program. We contract with the Westchester County Department of Health to provide itinerant special education teacher services to preschoolers who are recommended uh, for these services from school districts around the county. We also provide related services, speech, occupational therapy, and physical therapy. Um, also have a business, uh, BA and my partners. This is a school-based consulting business. I go out and consult with school districts on complex uh, learning challenges. Uh, we also provide home programs recommended by school districts uh, for students with developmental disabilities. And I do a lot of parent counseling and training. For, for all age groups. Volunteer work. For the last 12 years or so, I've been a volunteer for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society in their First Connection program. I'm a leukemia survivor, and what the First Connection program does is matches uh, people who have survived the disease with people who are newly diagnosed with the disease to provide them with support. So I've been doing that. Uh, I think it's I think it's been helpful to many of the people I've had contact with. I also had a a, a, a pet a dog, uh, Molly, who she and I were a therapy team. I don't do that anymore, but I can't miss the opportunity to get Molly's picture up here. Uh, she was just a one, wonderful companion. We did that for two years through Pet Partners. We had a regular Saturday engagement at... New York Presbyterian Hospital in White Plains, a regular engagement um, Wednesdays at Regia Ferrari Children's Hospital, the Ronald McDonald House, and a regular engagement at a nursing home in the Bronx. Uh, Molly has passed, so so um, we, we no longer do that, but maybe at some point in the future, I'll have the opportunity to do that again. I would love to do that. It's very rewarding work. In terms of my civic engagement, uh, this website, you navigated this to this video at the website malvernoncitizen.org. Uh, if you poke around the website, you'll see the type of things that I've written about. I've made a bunch of videos about a different about different topics. And so that's the kind of civic engagement that I do. I'm also toying around with this other project, My Candidate Scorecard, which is a an attempt to get people to think more critically about. Um, politics and the people who they are considering voting for. Uh, it's its really a kind of a decision-making framework to help people think things through. It's a challenge, but uh, that's another uh, way in which I'm trying to be more engaged you know, civ civically in our democracy. So here, this is a layout uh, of the organizational chart. A lot of times when you see an organizational chart for a school district, it might have the superintendent at the top. Um, I was taught and I, to flip it around so that every, the, the children and families that are at the top and, and uh, the teachers and therapists and counselors and direct support personnel are just below them. Um, they're in green because this is really the, 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 the go spot. 
uh, where we ought to focus all of our attention. Everything else is designed to support uh, the success of, of the students and the teachers here. So just beneath them, you have the building admin and support. Then you have the district admin, uh, curriculum instruction, technology, human resources, security, the uh, welfare of the physical plant, the buildings. Supporting all of that is a superintendent. I set finance and legal off to the side there in orange, um, just because the board of trustees has direct contact with that as well as the superintendent. So you can see the support structure. Everyone is lifting up the children and families at the top. At the bottom is the community at large. And then off to the side, these other um, re related important um, elements of the of the entire uh, uh, system, the labor unions uh, and the state and federal uh, government, which provides the uh, legal framework and you know a, a sizable amount of the funding in addition to the local property taxpayers. So this is the way I was taught to look at the structure. Um, we're all we're all pushing up and lifting up the teachers and the children and the families. Some of the areas that, of interest and knowledge that I have that I think might help serve the district, uh, early childhood education, I spent a lot of time uh, in the world of three and four-year-olds. Parent education, I've done a lot of parent education, been in a lot of different homes and a lot of uh, complicated dy dynamic situations. Reading is, is something I've, I've been thinking a lot about lately. Uh, we know that if by the time students are in fourth grade, they're not proficient readers. Um, it sets them up for a difficult road uh, and can really narrow their life options. So it's it's critically important. I think that's a key element of the, the sort of social contract we have uh, in, in terms of public schooling to make sure that we're able to get kids to be proficient readers. So I thought a lot about that. Special education, I have a lot of experience in special education. Uh, vocational education is something I'm interested in. It feels like as a society, we've kind of devalued that. We've pushed a lot of, we've really pushed the message that you need to go to college. That's not always the right choice for, for every 18 year old when they get out of high school. Um, there's a lot of value and a lot of need for skilled uh, trades, um, electricians, carpenters, plumbers, um, structural engineers, things like that. Um, are, are very important. And I think we need to send the message that these are valuable um, and they can they can be the right path for a lot of a lot of uh, young adults. Um, culinary arts would go in that as well. I know we have one of those programs. Uh, the physical plan, I'm interested in ways to structure the environment for success. Um, we had the uh, the uh, building uh, survey completed. Uh, for Mount Vernon within the last few years. It's the building, I think it's a BCS building condition survey and identified millions of dollars in repairs and refurbishment that needs to be done quickly. It seems likely we'll have to do a bond to do that um, because for these capital repairs. I'm interested in that and, and interested in how we design uh, and schools going forward so that they're not uh, the way they were in the past. Um, and then school finance, I have a good amount of experience and understanding of school finance. I'm required to do a consolidated fiscal report every year for the state. So I'm, I'm very familiar with that. I go through independent audits every year. I've been through New York State Comptroller audits before. Um, so I, I have a pretty good handle on school finance. Um, most recently, I've been focused on the impact that tax breaks given to you corporate housing developers through the Mount Vernon Industrial Development Agency uh, ha have on our local property taxes. Um, so I've been focusing on that and, and very concerned about the idea and what are called pilots, these payments in lieu of taxes. So that's a little bit about me. I'll be um, petitioning this spring and then uh, the, the school board vote will happen with the budget in May. So if anyone's interested in hearing more, my email is on that website on the about page. I'm always happy to talk. Thank you.